Hello, and welcome to another episode of Build It Better. Today, we're in Minnesota on a project with over 4,000 lineal feet of beautifully designed straight and curved axiom perimeter trim. But this, it's a Project Works axiom project. Our Armstrong Project Works team partnered with the architect and the contractor to optimize all of the axiom on this project. This optimization process maximized the length of all curved axiom segments throughout this project space, thereby minimizing the number of unsightly splice locations. Then the axiom was prefabricated, labeled, color-coded, and shipped to the job site. Installation time and scrap were significantly reduced. Let's speak with the architect and the installing contractor and just see how everything worked out. Well, when I first saw the prints for this job, I would say, you know, we were looking at just the amount of, of axiom that had to go up and, and it, we knew it would be a challenge. When we received our package of uh, Axiom, when we first opened it up, I saw the rolls of prints that were, you know, all the templates, um, gave you the color coding, the uh, lettering for all the all the pieces. Every piece was numbered, lettered, dimensions were on it. The color coding wrap, like they wrapped it itself and it was all different colors for each cloud, each part of each cloud. It was, it was done really well. Yeah, working with Project Works was, was a great experience. Um, we submitted our drawings and the revision that came back was almost spot on exactly how we had it drawn. So as I reviewed the architect's files, I noticed that a lot of it was not within the scope of being manufactured. I saw that the, the lights there was, were just a little bit off. So with the architect's approval, I went back and adjusted some, some, some of those sections and then we sent that back to the, uh, the architect for them to review it. And most parts were just a few inches off from what they originally wanted. So they were thrilled with it and they were happy with it. They completely met our design intent and it really takes a rigid office environment and, and did what we wanted, which was to add uh, some flow to it, a little bit of uh, natural um, movement throughout the entire building. It was really nice that we didn't have to go back through during the shot process and draw the splice locations, note all of the radiuses, um, and a lot of that was done um, first time through the project team. Yeah, I think it was also the other thing working with the Project Works team was super collaborative. We had a meeting with them so they could understand the design intent, which is really what Nick had sent them. It was, here's our design intent of bringing this idea of a riverway a connectivity through the space into the project and as soon as they understood that and that they didn't have to be down to the fraction of an inch they could optimize their design and still meet what our intent was the project works drawing package that i created includes a detailed breakdown of the entire project so each individual piece is accounted for in a parts list this parts list has each individual cloud broken down into different surfaces, A, B, C, D, et cetera. And these are packaged together in a color coding scheme. And that helps simplify things for the contractors because they know that all the A clouds are red. So just take the red, uh, the red packages where they go. And looking right behind you, how straight the lines are. Uh, it, the rigidity of the project and the way it, or the product, sorry, and the way it ties together uh, gives, allows you to do straight lines. And when you have these large open office spaces with long straight lines, that's important that it's not doing this down the way. So it's not just about the curves and the efficiency of, of um, working with the Project Works team on that. It's even the straight lines matter. And sometimes they, they maybe matter more because they stand out if they're not right. Punch lists take time. They take time for us to do. They take time for contractors to, to pick up. So if they're getting it right the first time, it's helping everybody. So I would say in past projects, um, you know, they would package the material however they could get it in the fewest amount of packages, you know, the fewest crates. Um, this didn't seem like that at all. This was just packaged for us to install it. It was, 
you know, we'd open a crate, it would be for that area. Everything was labeled properly, like stickers on the inside of every piece. Those stickers also had to, you know, the letters had to go face up. There was, there was a lot of nice parts to the system. I, I think even though we touched on the ease of back and forth with the Project Works team, it was also that there didn't need to be much back and forth. They, they got it. Uh, so back and forth was easy. Even better, we didn't take much back and forth. Yeah. <laughs>